That was some nice shooting. Taking out a behemoth single-handed. Smooth moves, kid. Hey, all right! The hero of the wasteland returns. Hey, you're the one who deserves all the thanks. You struck a major blow against tyranny. Now, GNR can be heard clear across the capital wasteland again. That'll give Eden and those muties something to think about. But before I get back to my calling, I bet you want to hear about your dad. When your dad passed through here, he and I talked for a good long time. He's a real stand-up kind of guy. He mentioned some scientific mumbo-jumbo, which didn't make sense to me, and mentioned something called Project Purity. He also said something about going to visit a Dr. Lee in Rivet City. Then he left in a hurry. You never heard of Rivet City? Wow. Just... Wow. Well, a whole bunch of people got together and turned a beached aircraft carrier into a town. Pretty cool, huh? Just follow the river south from here. There's no way you can miss it. I can't even tell you the love I'm getting from the wasteland. Ever since G and I started singing again, the guys downstairs told me that more people than ever are tuning in. It's all I ever wanted. Without this place, DC would be filled with that crap the Enclave keeps shoveling out of their radio station and festering with muties. Someone's gotta tell the Wastelanders what time it is, and Three Dog is the one to do it. No one knows what Eden and his horsemen of the apocalypse are up to, but you can be sure it isn't in the common man's best interest. Three Dog's seen it all, the capital wasteland at its ugliest. People killed for scraps of food, wounded children wandering aimlessly, some seriously fucked up shit. If it wasn't for the good fight, I think I would have gone crazy by now. Why candy coat the news when the world is in danger? People like the Enclave would have you believe everything is calm and totally under control. They're lying. Hell, President Eden goes around spreading peace, love, and government, but no one even knows how old that Enclave signal really is. People need to hear the truth. It's a harsh world. We've got to work together to make it better, not wait for Uncle Sam to ride in and save the day. You've got to understand, if I die, so does the voice of the people. I can't take that risk. Your idea of saving the world means combing through the rubble and using a gun. I use my voice. We're two sides of the same coin. If you think always being a target of your enemies is safe, then you got a funny way of looking at things. Parents? Ha! I was born from the sun and have sand in my veins. Ha <laughs> ha! Just messing with you. My parents were very cool. They preached all about the haters and their bullshit, how to tell the propaganda from the real deal. Okay, go for it. Anytime you need a place to crash, duck in here. Be glad to provide. 